Hello everybody, I'm Burning Acid and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything done since last time. I tried to locate the source of that horrendous lag that plagued us the last time we uh, were in this game. I am afraid to say I was unable to find the cause of it, but instead of working with 6 FPS, we're currently working with 12 FPS. So things are ever so slightly better, but it's still pretty damn awful. I tried a bunch of things, but none of them seem to have too much of an impact, unfortunately. So I'm uh, at this point, I don't know what is causing it. So we actually have a few encounters coming soon. Uh, we'll be encountering Ju in 56 days. We'll be encountering Urania in 51 days. And um, let's see, this crew will arrive in 178 days, still pretty damn long to go. The big ultra mega pattern time and spaceship still has 400 days to go. It's ridiculous, it's terrible. This, this was a very, very bad launch. So last time we got a, a rover in orbit around Juno, and that's pretty great. We are going to land that today. And we also have a very brave Kerbal with a rover orbiting Eve. He is so goddamn brave. He will be landing it today as well. But first of all, let's do the Juna rover because I don't know, that actually has a, a crew to go to. So I think that would be pretty good to get that done right now. Productivity mode is enabled. Hello everybody, I'm Post Commentary Guy. How are you all doing? I'm doing pretty damn great, even though I was unable to figure out where the horrendous lag came from, it magically decided to give me about double that FPS of last time, because last time we were down to 6, and this time I'm down to about 11, 12 FPS, still goddamn awful. So you may have noticed I did a quick save, it's pretty cool right, quick saving all over the place so I can do a quick load? Well. Turns out, quick loading was broken at this time, so I didn't know when I was doing it. I had no idea that quick loading did not work. So if anything goes wrong, uh oh, I won't be able to fix it by doing a quick load because we can't quick load at this do at, at this time. I'm getting way too excited. L just listen to me. Holy shit, what's going on? So we are going to give ourselves. Uh, an ever so slightly, ever so slight inclination, so that we actually pass over the interplanetary vessel. Because if we were, if we continued going around the equator, we would land like hundreds of kilometers away from it. Well, maybe not that much, but pretty damn far away from it. it would take a considerable time to travel towards that vessel. So we gave ourselves the inclination, and we cut our uh, velocity down to. Uh, not as much, so we are actually going to go in for a landing, hopefully, if anything goes wrong. I can't quick load. Keep that in mind. This is a one, one, one time thing. We can only do it once and if we fuck up, then it's over. It's gone. It's, it's a goner. But so far, our Ker Kerman, Kerman guy is doing pretty damn well. Uh, he has deployed his parachute, so hopefully he will be able to land properly. We are touching down. We touch down. However, landing struts, they're being bitches. <laughs> Actual bitches. I'm, for some reason, I was unable to retract the gears. I tried to fly up to see if something on the ground was jamming them, but doesn't seem to be the case. They actually do not freaking work. I'm not sure what's up with that, I'll have to go back to it later. So now we are orbiting Eve, and just look at how pretty Eve is, you gotta admit it. Eve is damn pretty. So uh, I just looked at the options, the difficulty options, and I, and I just wanted to see if quick loading was still turned on. It was still turned on, but once again I can't quick load for some reason. And it does seem to fix that when I reload the game, but I couldn't be bothered reloading the game. I was like, oh fuck it, I'll just I'll just go with it. If anything goes wrong, that tough luck. <laughs> I mean, this guy was probably not going to come back from EVE anyway, so nothing will be lost. We just won't see EVE up close, and we will not be going down 
it's clouds and atmosphere and I'm sorry about that I just made a lot of noise should not do that actually so we've set up a node I ejected our fuel tank and right after doing that I was like, oh shit why did I do that if I if I had kept that for this burn then it would slam into the ground on Eve instead of orbiting Eve for the end of time so that wasn't too clever of me so now that we are going down we can actually sort of make out the surface something that we could not do in map view so it was just a big gamble of me to go to pick a spot to go down on because i had no idea if there was going to be land or if there was going to be liquid some sort of weird liquid i'm um, playing around with parachutes decided to set them to 5000 then i was like wait that's way too high the atmosphere is way too thick it's gonna take a freaking year to touch down so i went with two and a half thousand meters instead we will not be deploying our parachutes at that point though but look at this guys we are going down eve's layers of clouds and the atmosphere and look at that we can't see a freaking thing we finally start seeing stuff on the surface there's a few rocks and just look at how pink everything is it looks gorgeous not gonna lie i really kind of like eve's surface it's a pinkish white and it's pretty damn cool and we can absolutely see jack shit in the sky it's all clouds and atmosphere and stuff so now we are going to our jewel vessel because i was lying earlier i said that our urania system vessel would get there faster but or sooner wasn't the case that was actually the sun's periapsis so i was pretty damn stupid um the urania system rover will actually arrive about 20 days after this arrival so um Killing all our velocity so that we will be getting sucked into uh, Jules' gravity well or whatever, I don't know. We have so much fuel, so we might as well just freaking use it. But seriously, we have a literal crap ton of fuel in these rockets. Ever since I, uh, I played around with the uh, efficiency of the rockets, I... Uh, like I said last time, um, mainsails are ever so slightly more efficient, poodles are ever so slightly more efficient, and so are atomic rocket motors. There's also a few more other modded atomic rocket motors that I've tweaked, and that, that's actually been a really good idea of me, because um, our Kerbal system is way too freaking big. Our Kerbal system is actually so much bigger than the original one was so the parts the original parts are not calculated for these distances so I had to calculate them myself for such distances so it's looking pretty damn good since our dual periapsis was about a year away we had switched to the Urania uh, rover and we discovered that our encounter was gone so we had to do something about that and we ended up wasting some fuel and later on we'll end up wasting a little more fuel and then we'll waste even more fuel and uh, it's not gonna be the best actually we are gonna get uh, run seriously low on fuel in this vessel and that's generally speaking not too great generally speaking you want to have way too much fuel well maybe not way too much because it weighs you down like a bastard but still we are gonna run low on fuel guys so our options are going to be limited. I think the only thing we will be able to do at the end of this is basically landing on the moon of a moon with like barely any gravity. Hopefully that will work. I don't know though. We will see what happens. Uh, I, I, I guess. Holy shit, we have just circularized our orbit around Urania. It's very inclined, it's pretty eccentric. But who cares, right? Oh wait, I guess I care because I'm gonna get rid of the inclination and I'm also gonna get rid of the eccentricity. I don't know why I decided to do that. Looking at our fuel levels, I was just figuring I'd meet up with one of those landish from the big ultra mega pattern time and spaceship and that would actually work. We would be able to uh, get the Kerbal from this vessel into the lander module and actually attach it back to the big Ultra Mega Patton Time spaceship and eventually go back home with him because this vessel won't. And I will now take my leave. Look at this guys, we have arrived at the Urania system. We are actually orbiting Urania, isn't it fantastic? However, 
This vessel will not be leaving because it's it's got barely any fuel left. So it's gonna be tricky even landing it somewhere. I think we'll be uh, forced to go with a very low gravity moon somewhere. Uh, I'll have to look for it. But I'm pretty sure actually that most of these moons have a moon. However, that does mean that this low gravity rover needs to land somewhere and one of those landers from the big ultra megapetitan time and spaceship needs to basically rendezvous on the surface with the rover to um, extract the crew member that's currently piloting this vessel and that's gonna be a bitch. So that big ship will actually be arriving in 273 days so it's actually getting closer and closer and closer it's crazy. I remember when it was like years and years it's already been traveling for over three years now and let's see uh, our interplanetary vessel will reach due in 52 days uh, the one that's nearly orbiting Jewel will arrive at its periapsis in 250 days that's absolutely crazy when this time has passed we need to do a burn to get ourselves into an actual orbit because this is not an actual orbit we have also landed a rover on Juna pretty close to our interplanetary vessel and we were very lucky because quick loading didn't work for some reason it was broken I could not quick load I could quick save but quick loading no did not work so if something had gone wrong I would not have been able to revert it and the same story with our rover currently landed on Eve I could not quick load at that time for some reason it was broken so fortunately everything went well nothing exploded well no, nothing that we needed exploded so what we will be doing next time is we will absolutely be trying to get this low graph rover onto a low gravity moon somewhere that would be pretty damn good i am not sure if it's got enough fuel to do so though so we're gonna have to see next time what happens with the guy on the rover if he dies or if he manages to land We'll also have a few more vessels arriving, we'll have another vessel arriving at Jewel. Uh, we'll have, we'll probably speed up time enough to get uh, the big ultra mega pattern time spaceship into its Urania encounter and that's gonna be freaking fantastic, even though it's gonna lag my ass off. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be pretty damn great, so until next time, I've been Burning Acid, thank you all for watching and goodbye.